Cyberspace. The stage is set. The roles are cast for the next game of Ripper. Let the mystery begin. These will be my last game master notes for Ripper. Magnata, Claire, Mendler, Stephanie Jordan, Estavez, Josie Dorset, and myself were playing. This is the final game. It began like any other. It's on near free. I don't find me a tough soon. I'll be on my feet all night. Be careful, Marie Kelly. The Ripper is still at large. It's been three weeks since he struck. Doc any heard that he killed himself. They pulled a body from the Thames. Cut his own throat, he did. Believe that if you want. I am going to Spiderfields. Find a pub, a little rum. The night is too cold for a lady. You're looking for a goat then, are you? What's in your bed? Something you won't like.
Without warning, the simulation had become reality. And the death was real. I've lost her. She's flatlining. Who was playing Mary Kelly? It's Josie. She and I switched. Well, who are you? It's me, Claire. No! Who the fuck did this? How did this happen? How could this have happened? We never learned the answer to that question. The Ripper had claimed his hunting ground. And now those who played that game must live in fear of when the Ripper will next strike. Oh, Doc, you look a little confused. What's the problem? I don't know. There's something strange here with your friend's brain scans. What do you mean? Well, this is, this is not right. Was something wrong? No, I don't think so, but it's just that we've been monitoring Catherine's brainwave activity every day since she was admitted. For the most part, it's been what you'd expect. But there's days when the brainwave activity radically spikes, displaying intense bursts of activity. We've been rebuilding her personality. Shouldn't that increase her brain activity? No, not like this. There's no pattern to the increased activity. You're welcome to have a look. Just use the keypad over there and punch in the date for any day since Catherine was admitted. The screen will display her brain activity for that day. You'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe you can tell me what's going on here. Invalid date. Invalid date.
Did you notice what I did with Catherine's EEG readouts? The EEGs? You got something on them? Maybe. I don't know what to make of it, though. Catherine's increased brain activity seems to correlate with the Ripper murders. On each day the Ripper is killed since Catherine was attacked, her brainwave activity has spiked. Well, that's peculiar. I suppose it could be a coincidence. Yeah, right. And the Ripper's actually a nice guy. If I were you, Doc, I would check the system Catherine's interfaced with. It may not be as secure as you think. You suggesting the Ripper's getting at her outside the system? Or Catherine's getting out. No, not in her condition. That's not possible. You have a very limited sense of the possible, Doc. Doc, what do you think of this image of Magnata as the Ripper? Good Lord, where did you get this? Eddie says he produced it himself. I'd be crazy if I trusted the guy. Could he have done this himself? I suppose. I mean, if anyone could, it would be Falcon Eddie, right? It certainly looks authentic. What about Burton's secret lab? Secret lab? I seem to remember something about that. There's a name. George Rhodes. Something about Penn Financial Bank on Prince Street. Who was Josie Dorsey? Jersey. Why did they kill her? Why did they kill Catherine, her? Catherine, who was she? They killed her. Why did they do it? Why? Why? Catherine, who was she? She was my mother. She was my mother. How can that be? I mean, your name is not Dorset. How? Name. She went back to it after my father left and they killed her. Why did you make me remember that day? How were you attacked? An anonymous source took me to the library to a book about Jack the Ripper. It was a trap. I picked up the book and the next thing I knew I was in the city. This old, filthy city with cobblestones and hissing gaslights and... And I heard horses. Horses? He attacked me. I saw him with a knife. God knows what he did to my mind. I escaped. Somehow I escaped. Why didn't you Why tell didn't me you were so close to the river? Because I wanted to scoop the great Jake Quinlan. I wanted to show the world I was just as good as you. You were out to steal my story. Why, Catherine? Dodds would have given you your own byline next time. It's the story of the century. I wanted this one, Jake, and the Times is gonna give it to me. You were gonna... You were gonna take my story to the Times. I can't fucking believe this! I thought we had something here. Is the Ripper still after you? I think he may be. I mean, sometimes I, I, I feel I can sense his presence. You have to stop him, James. Um, I mean, I don't want to end up like Stein or Farley. Farley? How do you know about Farley's murder? You're in a closed system. Well, I think you told me about him. Didn't you, Jake? I mean, yeah, it was you. Or maybe it was Falconetti. No. I'm sure you told me. Look, you just... 
They had a double brilliant to me. All right, things are getting pretty complicated here. Fifteen years ago, Magnata, Burton, and Eddie used to play this virtual reality role-playing game based on Jack the Ripper. And the last game they played, someone got killed for real. That was the Ripper's first victim. I mean, this goes way back, further than we thought. seen the Ripper image? It's become much clearer. You've got to keep digging for more information Powell might have had in the Ripper. We'll keep doing our part. I'm about to download her Myers-Briggs profile, so we'll see what that gives us. But we need more, lots more, to pull this off. Don't lose faith, Quinlan. We're making real progress, and we're getting close to that picture of the Ripper.